Hey butterflies, welcome back to Asia's Butterfly Land. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm, I will show you how I make my okra stew. And for the ingredients, you will need some palm oil. You can find this in your international aisle. Salt, black pepper, red pepper flakes, and some okra. You will need one package of frozen okra. And uh, you will need a blender to blend it up. And also, in my blender, I blend a uh, whole onion, five cloves of garlic, put some red pepper flakes, black pepper, and salt. And if you prefer habanero peppers, you can do it. If not, you can just use the red pepper flakes or even cayenne pepper, okay? And over here, I have uh, two, pounds of, two, pound, two pounds of lamb that's already uh, boiled and it's tender. And I added the, the onion mixture in here and one uh, six ounce of tomato paste. So that's what I have going on in here. Okay, and when you boil the meat, you will have a little, you will have some water left over. Of course, you're not going to uh, put a whole, whole lot of water up to here. But if you do and boil it, you're going to uh, take some water out. So now I have like a little, you see, it's like a little uh, stew gravy. So now I am going to add my okra. So pretty much you're just adding everything in. It's just, it's the dump and go recipe. And guys, so I added my okra because I prefer not to use a lot of okra because um, not everyone in the house like okra, but sometimes I do use the spinach. So in this, uh, in this recipe, you can use spinach, frozen spinach if you prefer also if you don't like okra. Because I know a lot of people don't like okra when it comes to like stews and stuff because it's a bit slimy, as you can see. So now the uh, palm oil, I'm going to add the palm oil. And you don't need a whole lot of this, okay? So when I buy this palm oil, um, I can use it for at least three, three dishes because, you know, you don't need a whole lot. So, and I had it sitting out, sitting out uh, by, the, uh, by the stove, so it's really um, easy to pour. Because sometimes when you buy it, of course, it, you know, it's kind of just, you know, hard to use. So I'm just adding it in here. And if you prefer seafood, if you don't eat meat, you can, use, you can make this dish with um, boneless tilapia shrimp, crabs, whatever you like if you, uh, if you don't like meat. And that would be good too because sometimes I cook it with just seafood. As you can see, once you, start, once, you put in, once you put in the palm oil, the color start forming and it start, like you start getting that bright red. It's really pretty. And the tomato paste help also. And you don't want, and you don't want your sauce to be super... Um, you don't want it to be super liquidy, be super thick. You want it just right. So what I did here was uh, the bottle from the palm oil. I just added a tad bit of water, and I'm gonna just shake it up and pour it. So now that I have my okra and everything in here, the okra, the uh, palm oil, everything is in here, I'm just gonna simmer it on number three for 15 to 20 minutes to make sure the okra get cooked get the make sure the palm oil the tomato paste make sure everything gets cooked Okay, so I'm just gonna cover this with a lid and simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes in the meantime I'm going to just make regular white rice and that's what I'm gonna uh, serve it with so see you when this is ready All right guys my okra stew is ready Oh yes, honey. This is how I like to serve it. And I just use a uh, ramekin, place the rice in there, and just flipped it over. So now I have my bowl here. Got some meat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sweet. Look how good this looks. Oh, you want a bite? Taste a bite. There you go, sugar. Take a bite. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Even this, even this little baby want to bite. So that's how you know it's delicious. He's going in. Okay, there you go. That's it. Mmm. So good. The meat is so tender. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, guys. That is it, my friends. 
Go ahead and give this recipe a try. Let me know if you like it. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up because you know why? Because I stood in this kitchen and make this dish for you guys. For you guys to check out. Leave me a comment. Put on your post notification. And, and you'll be notified whenever I make these spicy, delicious videos. Until next time. Good night.